Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video in the Diwani Jelly script. In today's video we are going to talk about how to construct a piece in the Diwani Jelly. Now, uh, for this we're going to need a few notes before we start. Now, the Diwani Jelly is constructed through being a very uh, sort of delicate and uh, sort of complex piece of art. So, in that sense we need to put some decorations in the art piece so that it would look fabulous at the end of it. So when they created the Iranian jelly, when they invented it, uh, it was used to do some headings and some secret letters and it meant to look pretty. So that's the first thing we're gonna focus on is the prettiness of the script itself. <clears throat> Therefore, the Iranian jelly and from the name jelly means that it will be constructed in a very uh, sort of way, although jelly means clear, but there's nothing clear about the, uh, the, 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 the scripts that we call jelly in. So the Diwani jelly could come in several shapes. The first one would be the most famous one and it's the uh, Farman. Let's assume that it's the format of this. So it would look something like this with an, at the end you will have this nudge upward, just like this. And then you will have some extruded parts at the end here. Now this is the basic shape. You could add the calves, if you had calves, the caps could come up here or at the end here. You could use the ba and the uh, ta, the jim alif. So you've got the ba, you've got when you do a jim and alif, and you've got the ayn and the alif. You've got the scene, which is the long one, could work too. Now these have huge spaces in them. So you could use those to break the shape. So you end up with a lot of letters here coming into each other. And in here you will have a free space because this all would be shaded, almost shaded. So this is another shape that you would see in the Diwani Jelly. You could also see the ends of the memes could come down here and look like this. So you've got the general shape of it, the general outline, and the end part, and you've got certain parts that could extrude up here, and you could have some empty, uh, let's say, spaces inside the Diwani jelly, which comes from the letter Ba, Jim, Elif, Ta, Nun, Kaf, and letter with a big uh, cup, let's say. Uh, you could also have some extruded part down below here, coming basically from the letter uh, meme. So, Another note about this is that the wows would come down here, like there's a level where the wow head would come and the fa and the qaf would come up here. So with those you'll try and uh, arrange them in a way that they would look neat and uh, not sort of chaotic. So for example, if you had this wow coming in this area, the next one would come next to it. If you had a fa, it would be up here, for example. So by the end of the art piece, you will find that you've got these rotations, if you had a lot of them, they would have this smooth uh, sort of uh, binding to the uh, art piece itself. And in between, you will have other letters. So yeah, because the heads are really heavy. So that's another thing about the uh, Furman. Now, this is like a fixed shape. Uh, you could also have them as uh, general shapes, so circles, uh, sort of uh, squares, whatever shape you want them to be in, uh, drop or hazelnut. So they could come into this shape and we will look into these uh, later. Uh, no certain uh, sort of rules about this except for the negative space, which is the space between the colored part and the empty part. So this needs to be balanced. I'm explaining things now in this way because it will be easier for us once we start uh, actually making some art pieces. Uh, the third note, we will come into details once we go into each one of them. The third uh, style, let's say, is called the boat, Zorok. Now the boat shape is basically generally straight from the top and at the end here you will have this sort of identifying shape that comes around and goes down like a boat's uh, front 
and down here you will have these sort of let's say logs or pallets of the boat that would actually be parts of certain letters so once you finish you will have this these lines going down here but the script itself is located in a certain area up here but from that certain script you get the cups of the wow the qaf the fa sometimes the jima uh, would come down here and they will have this lovely sort of boat shape so for example if you had a wow it, you will continue the end of the wow all the way down to here if you had then a noon it will come also back here then you had a qaf talking about the cups um, you keep doing this until you reach the end and at the end you would add this shape that looks like this so by the end of your art piece you'll end up with this shape that would resemble a boat shape basically then you would add four of the strokes for the alif or wow and we will look into the details of those so that they would look like uh, I forgot what they are called what people use to sort of roll or move the boat so that thing that looks like this and you use to basically move stuff i forgot what it's called so these are the main three uh, shapes that we are going to talk about i am going to actually start with the second one which is the general shape because i think this way we will have a, a relatively short video <coughs> so when you start doing that you have first to get the words out the words that you want to write so as usual we are going to start with bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim so bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim you would write those down with the diwani jelly uh, so that you could sort of build an idea about the shapes that you have because you need the words shapes and you need the general shape that you're going to construct these words in so i think i will use blue for this video and we're going to start with bism so i'm planning on and i'm i've got several shapes i've got a circular shape and i've got let's say this rounded edges shape so let's see this one because i've done practices before i started it so it's about finding the shape that you want to do the words with and then start designing that phase. So, listen, I'm going to use this bat, connect it to a small seam, basically this one. Then I'm going to connect it to this meme, the meme that looks like a rock. Comes back like this. So, this is listen. Now, this edge, I have in my mind that it would look like this. It will have a sort of semi semicircle shape then it will continue with a rectangular shape so now i've got this space filled and i know that i've got a kasra so i'm going to fill this with a kasra so the edges and the negative space is good in here i've got a scene so i'm going to put another scene down here so you can see that the spaces are sort of balanced in a way or another i could put a meme here for the meme shape to to fill it in we still haven't filled it with more uh, decorations. So, Allah, Lafdal Jalala Allah. Now, for that one, because I've got a sukun here, which could fill in this gap, I would start it from here or from here. Both would work. But from here, I would sort of intersect with the meme, and this might cause some troubles reading the meme. So, I'm going to do this here, the alif for Lafdal Jalala, and I'm going to end it down here. Lam Lam Al Ha for Allah. I'm going to add this part here. Remember, this is just the design phase. Lam. Going to stop here. Go up with a Lam, but not very high, just a short one because it's Lafal Jalala. And the Ha, which I could use this one. So now I fill this space. I could reduce the height of this one to touch the meme. And up here, I would have the Shadda, the stress, and either this shape or the fatha. Bismillahi kasra. Ar Rahman. I've got another alif. Now I'll try to make my alifes look sort of similar 
and lamb. So this alif came down here, this will come up here, and it will go to the left. Again, this would be the line. Ar-Rahman, Lam Ra. So this is going to come down here. Ha, Mim, Nun. Now I've got two, two shapes of this basically. I've got the Ha that comes down to a Mim, then a Nun. Basically. Could use this one. Or I could use the other one that would fill in more space. Going back. You see, I've got the shape of the hat, sort of relatively fully done, then the meme, then the noon. Now I could use this one to fill in the gap below the hat, because I kind of ran off, I don't, I have got a lot of space down here between the ra and the hat. So what I'm going to do is do this, come back, go up, rotate, do the meme, then come back with the noon. And stop here going to put the dot for the new and do the head for the hat. Again, this is just the design phase. So Bismillah ar-Rahman, here I will have the Shadda. Uh, down here I could add a, a sort of a balance that will become later. Allah, Bismillah, I could add a hat. So this is generally just doing some balancing because of the design stage. As you can see, we've got good space between the letters. They should intersect, but in the basmala, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, uh, you should just keep it kind of clear. Uh, ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim, so I could have just removed this dot and had the alif closer to the hat, but let's just leave it as it is. Uh, let's do the alif here, down. Again, you would actually go back and see that your alifs are the same uh, sort of stop and they come back because you want this uh, general consistency of shapes with regards to where they start and where they end. I did add the creation. Ar Rahim, we've got a Ra here that would actually sort of follow this Ra and comes down to here, look the same as this one. And Ha Mim, Ha Ya Mim. So this Ha Ya Mim could come from here, so I could do this. And the ha, I could just bring it from back, from back those two letters, so that would be like hidden behind them. Uh, again, the meme, I would try to make it sort of the same level as this one, and the same shape too. And here are the dots. So as you can see, you've got two memes looking similar to each other. And this will end with a curvature just like this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar rahim Kasra. And up here I could add big decorations, a letter meme, and something to fill in the gap up here. Ar-Rahman, I've got a Sukun and a Fatha and a Kasra here. As you can see here, we've filled the shape with the letters themselves. We don't sort of scatter our letters around and then try to fill it with decorations, no. We fill it with the shapes, with the letters themselves. Then if we had some spaces, we would fill that with uh, decorations. Now, the, the Diwani Jelly should have more uh, intersections in it, but I just left this this way so that it would be clear for you how to construct it. So try this and write it clearly. So I'm just going to write it without the uh, sort of boundaries. And again, remember the shapes here. You've got this curve, you've got this curve, again with this curve. So it follows the Diwani rules. So, Bismillah. Ba, Sin, Mim. And you should go back and scale all these stuff. this down kind of quickly so that we could move on and the uh, raw 
Now, if you didn't want to do that design of the hat and meme noon, you could bring the hat from back here and just do this to have more intersection here. Rahman Ar Rahim. And for this time, I'm going to add this here. This would come here, and the Rahim would come all the way from here. So as you can see here, you've got two hats looking like each other, and this I could bring back to up to here, and add the noon dot here. I would cut this part, and the dots for the up. And yeah, here we go. We've got the shape. And now starting with the decoration. So the kasra, I'm add the sukun. First you add the main important shapes. You would use the other pen, which is the smaller. Uh, let's go small with this. You would use fourth the size that you are using. And here you've got the shud. Bismillahi. I would add the ha, the meme, the scene here, of course, the meme for the meme, and uh, Ar Rahman. We've got a shad here, we've got a fatha, we've got a sukun, we could use the other shapes of the sukun. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahimi, Ar Rahi. Kasra for the ha, uh, shad and fath for the ra, and you have to be careful with regards to the harakat, uh, so that they won't look uh, odd. And here we've got decorations, and here uh, this is a yeah, so we could add this. And again, with regards to the uh, Miza. Now, with regards to leaves and Mawazi and the scales, you see the biggest spaces and you would add these shapes, the ones we talked about before. And I want you to keep an eye on the general sort of ba balancing feature of the uh, piece itself. So actually, I'm going to change the uh, boundaries so that it would look more like this. It will have a straight line, then it will come back this way and it will come down this way. So I will have a shape that would look like this. As you can see. You could have another thing coming up here and you would fill this with another shape going the other way around for example. Or it could be sort of copied around the shape so that it would look like a star. Uh, you continue with the uh, fillers, let's call them, which are the decorations. You could add a meme here for the meme. And then you would add the sort of leaves. Start with leaves under the harakat, if you have space for those. Start adding them to balance the general... Uh, sort of weights of these things. Don't put a lot of them next to each other. Try and leave some space in between them. Uh, you want it to be balanced, not just a sort of a piece of ink. You don't want it to be so much ink in it. Uh, but the important thing is are the dots. So you finish with it, it started to look good and you want to add dots. The dots are this. You add Three at one place, if you had like a circle or a, a good space, or four next to each other. So these are the limits. Between them you would have the other shapes of uh, decorations. So let's start here, for example, you've got one, two, three, done. One, two, you see, you've got breaks between those dots. They never come like too close to each other. 
You've got one here to balance this, one here, another one here, one here, and one here. It keeps the, that's why you have to fill the art piece with the letters themselves. You want to avoid, the last thing you want is a piece which is filled with dots that are basically the main shape. So but here I got two, I could just add one more. I can't add more than that, or I shouldn't add more than that. Again, this would be at the end of your art piece. You add these. You should practice more with regards to uh, the Wani Jelly, like this would be your start, then you would go do your name, your friend's name, your family name, do like the first, second and third, start with uh, three words, uh, three word sentences, don't overdo things, just make it simple, and this way you will get the nice decorations of the art piece without having too much in it, because you want it to be pleasant to the eye. So here you've got a, an example that you should work according to. And with this, you would sort of have your first steps into the Diwani Jelly. Now I'm about to end the video, but I want to show you something. So for example, when I wanted to construct this Bismillah Rahman Rahim piece, I had to do several samples and it did take time. So for example, I started with certain shapes, then I moved on to other shapes. I wanted to make it this circle shape, but it was too much going on here. As you can see, you've got too much weight up here, but down here it's so light. So that's why I've decided not to go for that. Uh, this is the one that I had in mind, but again, it's up to you. So. These are the general shapes. Here is something that I didn't like, so I started Ba and a scene came up here and I wanted this all to be just together, but that didn't, I didn't like it, so I just basically cancelled it. Uh, the same thing, you see this shape I forgot to do here, which could have been like really pretty if I did that here. Uh, it would sort of fill this gap and it would be nice because it's a shape, it's from the meme itself. I would have this uh, heavy part to balance the art piece. So this is for the first trial. Uh, the next ones we're going to look into the uh, more broad ones, the Zorak, the boat one, and this guy here, the foreman, the foreman. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I will see you in the next ones. I think for Diwan and Jelly we will have two more classes other than this because I want you to know how it's done properly. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about calligraphy. This has been Amar Audi and have a lovely day, evening or night. Goodbye.